Hey guys! Okay, so today I'm finally getting around to doing my November favorites. I know it's been a few days and I'm really sorry about that. I'm also sorry that I am using my computer webcam to do this video. Um, I don't exactly know where my camera is because I am now home for winter break for I think it's like 40 days maybe. But, um, so my camera's in one of my bags and I haven't completely unpacked yet. I'm very slow about unpacking. Also, I'm not wearing too much makeup right now. I'm pretty much just wearing like mascara and a tiny bit of foundation because the job that I'm trying to get requires you to look really natural. So all I have on is a little bit of mascara and foundation. So yeah, that's about it. And yeah, I guess I'm just gonna get started. Sounds good. Okay, so my first favorite is the Macadamia Deep Repair Mask, and it looks like this. This stuff smells amazing. It smells so good. Um, and what it does is it, like, it repairs your hair. I can definitely tell that my hair is healthier ever since I started using this. You can only use this at most twice a week because it's an intense treatment for your hair. So you can only use it twice a week at most. Um, it smells amazing, like I said before. It also leaves this really pretty smell in your hair, and your hair smells amazing the whole time. Like, I can go like a day without washing my hair, and it'll still smell amazing because of this stuff. Love it. Okay, next I have the Bath & Body Works Golden Sugar Scrub in the Forever Red scent. I am loving this stuff. This is like amazing smelling. This is currently like a full bottle. I feel like everyone should buy this. Um, it also makes your skin really, really soft. And it's like, um, apparently the Forever Red is Bath & Body Works like most luxurious formula they've had. Um, it smells amazing. It's like, what is it? It's, uh, the fragrance note says it's on top fiery pomegranate, rare French peach, luminous apple, and then in the middle there's red peony, night marigold, red osmanthus, and then it says dry, rich vanilla rum, velvety marshmallow, and oak wood. And this just smells so good. I always love it. And it's also like a great winter and like holiday scent to use, so I definitely recommend it. It's a, This was like $16.50. So, it's not bad. I love it. Definitely recommend it. Next, I have these two brushes. I use them to do my face, like my foundation routine every day, which I'm going to be putting up soon. Or I'm going to be doing soon. Hopefully, I don't have to do it on my webcam. Uh, this one's by e.l.f. It's, it says it's an e.l.f. powder blush. Uh, powder brush, but I use it for my liquid foundation anyways. And this one's by Sonia Kashuk. Um, and this one's like a buffing brush, or yeah, pretty much. And I use them like in combination, like I'll usually use this one first and then I'll go over it with this one. And yeah, they're both really soft, like this one was only $3.00. And yet, it's incredibly soft. Also, I'm sorry how about how like dirty they are. I haven't washed them in a while. As you can probably see, they're like nasty and caked with foundation. I need to clean them. This one was like maybe fifteen dollars at most. So they're both really inexpensive for makeup brushes, and they're both really soft makeup brushes, um, especially for the prices, especially. And yeah, I think my foundation looks nice. The next I have the Rimmel London Stay Matte, what's it called, dressed powder. And this is in 001 Transparent. And it looks like this. And I use this, like I use like a big fluffy brush or something. And I just like put it on my face. And it helps my face to like not get shiny throughout the day. And it also helps when like... I'm using, um, like when I'm taking pictures and stuff, 
It also helps me, my makeup to look good in pictures. Um, I can definitely see a difference from the days that I don't use this and like the days that I do. Like today I didn't use it and I can like see how it's getting like oily here and here and whatnot and it's grossing me out right now. Um, but yeah. And it says it's long lasting which is also good and it's got like shine control which as you can see I need like here and here. So yeah. And then next I have two lip products. First I have this Revlon Super Lustrous Lipstick and it's a matte color and it's in 003 mauve over it. It looks like this. Swatch it. And that's what it looks like. And for like a matte lipstick, I thought it would be more dry, but it's not. It's actually fairly it's actually fairly moisturizing. Um and it's like a pretty mauve color. If you haven't noticed already, I like mauve type colors. I don't know, I just do. And then next I have this Mary Kay Satin Lips Lip Balm. It's just like a clear lip balm that moisturizes your lips. And I use it like at night. And I usually put it on before I do my lipstick. I always wear a lip balm. Um, and I've just been using it a lot this month because I guess I like rediscovered it or something. I don't know. And also because like I'm a brass player and it's winter time so my lips get chapped like crazy. So yeah, I've been definitely loving that. I think in like my last favorites video, which I'll link somewhere here maybe, I had um, another lip balm. I think it was the Burt's Bees one. I don't know. Okay. And then next I have this nail polish by Essie. And it is in leading, it's called Leading Lady. I don't know if you can see that. But it's called Leading Lady and it's like this red sparkly color. It's so pretty. I love this nail color. Um, I don't have it on right now. I think it's a great holiday color and I've been using it a lot and loving it a lot. I'm probably going to do like a nail tutorial sometime soon. I don't know. Would you guys like to see a nail tutorial? I love doing my nails. I always do my nails when I'm stressed out. It's a great stress reliever. And it's just a really pretty color and I love the sparkles. One thing I thought though was I thought it would be like straight up like maybe just sparkles in like a clear thing but the actual like nail polish thing inside is also red so it looks really cool. It also looks really cool if you put like a matte top coat over top then it looks super awesome. Okay. And then my last favorite is this pair of riding boots. I don't... Yeah. And they're from American Eagle. And I don't know, I've just been like crazy loving them this month. They're just like a standard pair of riding boots. I think they were in one of my hauls. I'll figure out which haul it was in and I'll link it here somewhere. I'll link it in this general vicinity. But yeah, so they're really comfortable. They've got like a tiny, tiny heel. Yeah, so they look like this, and they've got the cute little buckle detail right here, and then they've got another buckle up here, and on this side they have this little detailing right here, which is nice, and it's got a zipper down the back. So, I really like them, um, and they're in the color, I don't know, they were in the brown color. I don't think they, I don't think they're on the website anymore. I got them online, um, yeah. And they're really comfortable and they're really cute with jeans or even like with a skirt. So, yeah. And they look really cute with like socks maybe. Yeah. So I've just been loving them this whole month. And I guess because it's like riding boot season, I guess. Whatever. So that's all the favorites I have today. And I have one non-favorite. And it's this. The L'Oreal Studio, L'Oreal Studio Secrets anti-redness primer. I don't know if it's maybe just like my skin tone or whatnot, but like I don't really think it does anything to make the redness go away. Um, it kind of just makes my skin look greenish. I don't know. Maybe I'm not using it right? I don't know. Um, yeah, if you guys have any like comments on this, please let me know.
in the comments below. That would be amazing. I would love you forever. Because maybe I'm not using it right, or maybe it's just my skin tone. I don't know. There's only one skin type for this. This green color. But yeah, so, I don't know. I just don't like it. Oh well. Okay, so that's all I have for this month. Can't wait to see you at the end of this, at the end of December. Alright, bye guys. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and you can find me on YouTube and, what else, Pinterest and Tumblr, and I'll link those below if you want to. Um, so yeah, bye. Thank you.